Um, our next performer, the New York Post, described his act as sexist, racist, abrasive, yet endearing. Yeah. Sounds like my kind of guy. Would you please help welcome the pit bull of comedy, Bobby Slayton. Ladies and gentlemen, let's open Mr. Lettuce. Mr. John Lettuce. Thank you. How you doing? You know, it's funny, I'm driving down here tonight. I went to see my agent today. I know it sounds like a joke, but it's true. And I'm in Beverly Hills, and I go to... This is so typical L.A. And there's this guy in front of me in a vet. You know the kind of guys that drive Corvettes. It's always the guys with the thick necks and the little peckers, you know? <laughs> you don't see women in the cars with these guys. And the guy, I'm not making this up, the guy's got personalized license plates with the word macho, and he had some number, macho three, whatever, like he's got a whole fleet of these. <laughs> Macho, whatever. These are the kind of guys you want to shoot at on the freeway. Macho, whatever. I just love to work in the Department of Motor Vehicles when this guy comes in. Oh, you'd like to get macho? Yeah, well, sir, you know, check in our computer. Somebody already has that. We have asshole. Would you like that? We, we have shithead three seems to be available. Speaking of macho, aren't they, they, uh... A couple of months ago, my girlfriend dragged me down to Mexico. She wanted to go down for a vacation. And if you've never been to Mexico, let me, let me give you a little bit of an education right here, all right? We spent one night in Mexico City. And if you've never been to Mexico City, it's, it's very crowded, it's polluted. It's, it's like L.A., only, of course, in L.A., there's more Mexicans. <laughs> so we spend one night in Mexico City, and from there, we go down to Cancun. My girlfriend's dying to go see those ruins. What, 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 what I don't, I don't, the ancient Maya, 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 These big Negro maids on the Aunt Jemima ruins. Unbelievable. The Aunt Jemima ruins. Knock me for a loop. Aunt Jemima ruins. Anyway, now I don't say this to be racist. It just happens to be a fact. You ever notice that a lot of old Mexican women are fat? But a lot of young Mexican women are skinny. Now, I think the old Mexican women Eat the young Mexican women. No, I'm pretty, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive. But until somebody comes up with a better theory, we'll leave it lie at that, all right? See, now right there, we've done the Mexican joke, a fat joke. You know, and I'll, I'll tell you something. It, it's a cheap shot making fun of heavy people because there's a lot of women that, you know, I mean, most women think they're fat, whether they are or whether they're not. And yesterday I'm in the bank, and there's this woman standing in front of me in these designer guest jeans. And if you're a big woman, they do make flowing, graceful outfits that you can wear, like uh, drop cloths. I don't know, no, 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 no. But you don't have to pack yourself into a pair of designer guest jeans. And I'm in line at the bank, and I'm standing behind this woman. I'm just looking. There's a big guess right there. And if I, I don't know, babe, 400 pounds? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a shot in the dark at this point. I, My girlfriend's working out now. You know, the aerobics were one thing, but now she's joined the gym, and now she's doing the Nautilus and the free weights. And you know, when it comes to bodybuilding, it's like guys too. If you want to work out and get a little muscle tone, a little body definition, that's fine. But when you reach a point, especially female bodybuilders, my girlfriend works out with these kind of women. They can see, I don't know what kind of guy wants to go out with a woman who's got thighs like a vice. <laughs> that's a very dangerous compromising position. I don't want to find myself in the middle of it. <laughs> You know, it's one thing, guys, when you joke around the bed and they slap your ass or they scratch your back, but when they got the power to turn a little thumper into a pancake... <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. That's irreparable damage right there. You know, it's funny, too, the more my girlfriend works out, the smaller the bathing suits get. And bikinis look great on other guys' girlfriends. But my girlfriend goes to the beach, you know, it's amazing. This is, it's unbelievable. She'll go to the beach and she wears these bathing suits that they're not, it's not even, it's like, it's like a little string between her legs. It's not even a bathing suit. It's like, I said, honey, what, what is the point of wearing anything? These bikinis, it's like, it looks like you're flossing your crotch, is what it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a bathing suit. It, Guys in bikinis are even worse. The guys that, you know, guys, if you're gonna go to the beach, you sit by, well, wear a regular bathing suit. Wear some swimming trunks, not those little marble bags between your legs. I hate those things. I hate them. It's great to be here doing this HBO special. My folks, my parents, love to come see me when I do TV shows, and they, they couldn't come out from New York because, because I killed them. No, they, they couldn't come out. <laughs> Now, they couldn't come out, and it's very funny, too, because the last time I did a TV show in New York, I'll tell you a great story. Uh, I did a show in New York City, 
And not only did my parents come, but every old Jewish relative I had from every borough in New York, Bronx, Queens, all over the place. And afterwards, we go out to eat dinner in Chinatown. And if you've ever had dinner with a bunch of old Jewish people, you know what a treat this can be. <laughs> And what my relatives basically do when they sit down to read a menu, and I think a lot of old Jews do this, they read the menu like the Torah, it's from right to left. They look at the price, then they see what the food is. <laughs> so anyway, we're sitting in Chinatown in a restaurant, a bunch of old Jewish people, and we're sitting right by the kitchen. And in the kitchen, you can hear these old Chinese women scurrying around and making noise. And one of the few things in this world more annoying than a bunch of old Jews are a bunch of old Chinese. Because you can hear old Chinese women from a mile away. You ever go to a Chinese restaurant and hear them in the back? What are you doing back there? Electrocuting a cat? People with glasses are like shattering on the table from this high-pitched shrill. You see, the Chinese could have been memorized. People's glasses are shattering at <laughs> So anyway, the Chinese waiter comes out of the kitchen. Now there must be what now? 85 zillion Chinese guys in the world. They all have the exact same haircut. I don't know why. What does every Chinese what does every Chinese guy? What do they go to the barber and say, ah, oh, can you cut it like Mo? Come on, how about a Shemper or Larry? Not one like Mo. Okay, Chinese guy. Here, you look like Mo. Okay, Mo. Anyway, the Chinese guy, Chinese waiter, comes up to the table, and the guy barely understands English, let alone old Jewish English. And my grandmother, who's sitting at the table, who sounds exactly like Jerry Lewis, is looking at the menu going, Oi, I don't want pork. Oi, hey, Dame. Oi, is there pork in here? Oi, 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 oi. And the waiter's going, yeah, we are your pork? Yeah, we, we are your pork? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want pork. What are you, deaf? I just want the vegetables, no pork. Oh, pork, you visible? Yeah, yeah. It's there a hand menu, lady. Look, we have a chicken, beef, seafood, pork. Yeah. No, I don't want pork. I don't want pork. I don't want spicy. Yeah, you want spicy pork? No, we're not busy here. We have a menu. Chicken, seafood, beef, pork. Spicy pork. No, I don't want pork. This is going on for like a half an hour. It's like this battle of the ancient cultures. It's like Godzilla and Rodan. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Back and forth. But that's all Chinese waiters ever do when you think about it. You know? say it to be mean, but you've all got through that experience. You go to a Chinese restaurant and you get a Chinese waiter that just agrees with everything you say. Sir, it says uh, chicken with vegetables. What, what type of vegetable? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Chicken with vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are they spicy vegetables? Oh, yeah, spicy vegetables. Everything. Uh, spicy vegetables. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, my friend. Spicy vegetables. Are there crayons in this? Yeah, oh yeah. You, yeah, a uh, crayon with a visual, everything, everything, crayon. You know your head's on fire, you know your head's on, oh yeah, you have head on fire, everything. Okay, partner, head on fire, visual. Yeah. But they speak Chinese, you gotta give them credit for that. I don't know how anybody, you ever listen to Chinese people talk? They don't even end sentences, it's like the words just kind of fade away. <laughs> well, what do they just talk till they run out of breath? <laughs> See, I don't know how anybody learns another language, let alone something like Chinese. You know, growing up in New York City, see, you growing up in New York, when I went to high school, I took Spanish. Because growing up in New York, you automatically take Spanish because you figure Puerto Ricans speak it. <laughs> how tough could it possibly be? <laughs> Actually, speaking of Puerto Ricans, let me leave it with this. You ever see the movie West Side Story? I'm sure it's a classic film, everybody's seen it. Remember this scene, I never understood this. Remember the scene in West Side Story where the white guy is running through Spanish Harlem, yelling out, Maria! Only one woman comes to the window. <laughs> Anyway, let me tell you something. You're going to see a lot of different kinds of comedians up here, but as far as I'm concerned, you've got to remember one thing. And that's if you can't laugh at yourself, make fun of other people. <laughs> Thanks, enjoy the rest of the show.